Yo, what's good, everyone, all the shaman tank connoisseurs out there, you're still there. I'm gonna do like a phase four kind of overview, review. I wouldn't say call this a guide because like uh, MC is a note yet. I'm just kind of like prepping for it, but uh, you know, let's just go over everything that I normally do in a shaman tank video. It's not a guide. I would call this like a review overview. Okay, so talents, yeah, almost pretty much the same shit from last phase. Uh, I believe Zockify has like only one in here, but I forget where where else they allocate that. Like maybe improved weapon totems, I think. But uh, yeah. All the same, like, enhanced shit. It's mainly we've been adding on to, uh, the elemental part of the tree. Other people have, like, uh, mentioned, like, you could go all the way into here to get nature's guidance. But, I mean, like, there's so much hit gear out there. It's, like, there's really no point in, uh, using this band-aid spec here. So, we're just gonna stay in Ellie. Uh, get concussion. Elemental warding. Elemental focus. These are, like, all key spells here you, you want. Basically, an elemental devastation. And, uh, I mean, reverb is, like, it's cool, one extra second, all that jazz, uh, same with convection, is like, we kind of get a lot of mana back if we're, like, constantly blocking, so it's, like, convection is, like, you could maybe put that in Call of Flame, or finish off, uh, reverb, but, uh, yeah, that's mainly, like, the baseline enhanced spec, there's another spec, but I could, like, quickly, like, kind of, like, uh, cover, it. so, it's, like, the spell hands, uh, set basically or spec rather you're gonna be going so far down here that you're gonna put 30 points to, or something like 25 points yeah 26 points to get uh, all of lightning mastery or no 30 points yeah uh, probably also gonna be picking up elemental fury uh, Storm's reach call of thunder etc you'd be going down as far to fill this up then you would be putting five in shield spec Three in lightning shields. Uh, let's see here. I'm assuming tidal focus, ancestral healing, and hmm, cost two totems. I mean, I don't think you're gonna be like really uh, re-summoning your totems as often during like a single target boss fight. But I mean, it might help for dungeons going for that but uh yeah or you could get improved reincarnation if you're dying often i mean with this spec i feel like you would be dying pretty often because like you're gonna be like full like dps gear basically going like for elemental gear and shit so you'd probably be squishy way squishier than the traditional shaman tank and then uh three points in nature's guidance basically because i think you need like 16 percent spell hit so you could like get like uh what is it six percent plus plus this here, or, yeah, so you get, like, 9% altogether, and you'd have to work on 7% uh, hit from the gear. You get, like, full uh, hit rating for, like, your spells, basically, your spell hit chance. I believe it's 16%, yeah, it's higher than the normal hit percent for, like, just melee, so. There's that spec, but I'm not gonna really cover that, because I'm very positive it's too overpowered. Like, I've uh, done a UBRS, where my co-tank was also a shaman, but, like, he was in that spec, like the Ellie spec and the dude like basically diffed me really hard on threat but it's like I was still always second in threat so in case this guy died like mobs would go on me but like I wasn't exactly pulling off him anytime soon like with uh, the traditional enhanced spec but yeah he was top DPS and all that other shit it's gonna get nerfed like uh spell hands got nerfed in uh what she calls it Phase three, yeah, for Sunken Temple. I managed to like get like a full set of belly gear, and like I managed to like I didn't I didn't even get to do like a single raid, or maybe I did one raid and then it was like nerfed the next week. So it was like, eh. don't put all your uh, something in the same basket as they say or whatever. I'm I'm sticking with the traditional like shaman tank, like enhanced, like how it normally is outside of sod. You're playing enhanced to shaman tank. Like the only time uh, elemental has been like a viable spec for shaman tank was like uh, during Wrath, like. Wrath pre-patch for TBC and like Wrath altogether because uh the three second frost shock, three second fire nova. But uh yeah. Those are the two different builds. I would not recommend the LA build. I mean sure, maybe have fun with it now while while you can, but like that requires you to be going after all this Ellie gear and shit. And then 
don't come crying to me when uh, that shit's nerfed and you wasted your time getting all the Ellie gear and shit for it, so there's that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not supposed to swear now. Oh, well. Anyways. Um, let's take a quick peek at my gear. Um, this is still from level 50. I don't know if there's a level 60 variant I think I could probably be doing to upgrade now. I haven't looked at the PvP uh, vendor, like, up over at that building, but I'm pretty sure I've got some upgrades there that I could be getting. I just totally forgot. I'm remembering now. Uh, Senior <laughs> Sergeant's Insignia. I'm just doing that for the 14th stam. Like, I've got still this level 40 uh, necklace from uh, Nomer. Yeah, but uh, I'm mainly focusing on, like, defense rating and, like, uh, stacking stamina more than anything else, like... I want to be like a tank, right? I don't want to be like this DPS that's trying to parse first week, like, giving everyone hell because, like, I'm fucking squishy. Like, no, 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 no. We're, we're going traditional shaman tank. We're playing a damn tank, for Christ's sake, right? Like, the whole point of tank is, like, you're there to hold threat and not die kind of deal. It's like, you're not there to be top DPS or anything. Like, that's for, like, uh, Kata or whatever and Mop where the tanks get vengeance and, like, they're meant to be top DPS. Shoulders from uh, Arathi Basin, the exalted shoulders, same with this, uh, exalted cloak. I, I've got a uh, royal decorated armor because it just has a shit ton of stamina on it, honestly. I just want to be like a big, huge, like, punching bag. Like, I want a bunch of stamina. I don't know how I have 7,000 here. I feel like something's off. <laughs> Like, uh, maybe it's because I was, like, in uh, Black Rock Mountain not too long ago, and, like, it increased my health for some reason, but I haven't lost this, but I feel like I'm, like, 5.6k HP unbuffed. Uh, I don't know, like, why I'm still at 7.3. Anyways. Uh, these are from BRD. 14 stam, 8 agility. Like, kind of replaced uh, this that I had. It was 14 stam, 6 int. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, I've, I've got this as well. Like, like I said this is more of a threat thing I might be able to like end up using it for sacrificing like what five stam I guess to uh get these extra agility and strength I mean that's probably yeah six stam I think that would be worth I'll probably uh migrate on over to using this yeah um lose a little bit of stam for the oh yeah see look I changed gear and then it like lowered my HP back down there uh we've got the Arathi Basin Epic Dagger. Uh, I know this has like spell power and all that other shit. I was like, oh, I'm not going for Ellie Gear. It just has more higher like end damaged like uh, on the dagger itself. Like it was an upgrade from my Life Force Dirk. I, I lost three stamina for it, but like I got 40 armor plus like more damage, right? Like that's 36 damage per second. This is 41, so it's just better. And the extra damage and healing and like a uh, chance to get a crit is just like uh, extra, basically. <clears throat> Still got uh, this shield from Blackrock Dubs. Uh, right now, I'm in the process of working on Alteric Valley rep, so Frostwell Plan. I want to get that to Exalted so I can get the immovable object for my epic shield. Totem of Earth and Vitality. I believe this is Biss. Uh, this is from that vendor in Booty Bay that uh, you trade Tarnished Undermine Real Spore. So there's that. And if by some chance I don't need this, then I could swap over to the Totem of Raging Fire where I Storm Strike and I gain 50 attack power just to like a little bit more DPS, right? But I'm more focused on just staying alive and making life easier for healers on my first couple of lockouts of uh, MC. We have uh, this trinket from the end of Eradicus. I'm mainly just using it for 10 stam. I have alternatives I could use like... Uh, see the rune of the guard captain i could be using mark of the chosen maybe uh hand of justice not so much really i think i want to be using this more for like actual dps and hands to be honest um this might be good for like it's one percent like hit and crit right i mean there's two percent crit here but uh I'm pretty happy with, like, the trinket setup I have here. Like, and then we have Force of Will. This is also from BRD. It gives defense. And, uh, yeah. It gives me, like, a little bit of a, a reflectability for 10 seconds. This is also... Wait. Reducing all melee damage. I'm mixing that up for Naggle Ring. That has the reflect. And, uh, 10 stam. 5 defense on it. Still got this Nog's Brilliant Gold Ring from, uh, 
Number gone, 16 stam, 70 armor. That's like just a decent baseline tank trinket. Uh, flame walkers, uh, 18 fire resist, 10 stam. I mainly got this because like I, I want to start building up defense along with my stam, but like I'm pretty sure I have boots that have more stamina than that. But uh, yeah, I'm also building up like a fire resistance set. I'm just kind of banking them. It's just these have defense on them, so I'm gonna keep them for the time being. Uh, this is from that new dungeon, uh, Demon Fall Canyon. It just seemed like a general upgrade from what I was wearing. Like, uh, I was using these, the ostrich, like the three set from uh, ST. So, yeah, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get these. They have more armor. One less stamina, right? But, like, I get more agility for, like, that dodge. 38 attack power. I think that's, like, it's 20 agility to get 1% uh, crit. So, I'm also getting a hit percent chance. So, it's like, I lose... 0.5% crit from uh, changing here, but uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, Beast Stalker belt that just had more stamina than what I had before. It was Temple of Picard belt, I believe. This uh, I was using for stamina before, but I mean, I believe this is better. It's like one less stam than the Epic belt, but get some agility, some int there. Uh, I'm unsure of what my second Beast Stalker set would be to get the 200 armor bonus. I don't know if that's, like, such a big deal to get the two set, honestly. It's... Yeah. Then we got Voon's Vice Grips. Uh, I know I said earlier I was, like, trying to stack up stamina and everything, but I also need, like, get some hit in there, right? We need, like, a decent chance to hit, right? Basically, 4% is not that bad. Um, we could go over the new runes while we're here. I mean, the ones that I need, like, there's plenty more, uh, back, like, there's two other back runes, like, one that's meant for Ellie and one that's meant for Resto for back runes, but, I mean, Feral Spirit is, like, the way to go. It's just a DPS cooldown, really, and plus the wolves, like, they heal you, and they'll give you uh, a speed boost, which will initially break a root on you if you're, uh, rooted. I think it might also clear current, like, slows on you, like, daze effects. Uh, like, let's summon them, just to show you, like, some of them. Like, they have a taunt as well. Yeah. Like, a uh, Twin Howl, this is their stun, but they have, like, another ability somewhere that, like, I can't find. Like, we don't have, like, a pet book, like, Hunters. Like, Hunters could open their spell book, and there'd be a tab down here to look at your pet stuff, right? I don't got that for these guys. I feel like there should be a third ability on these bars here, but, uh... For the speed boost thing, because I know that's a thing in like uh, Kata with those wolves, they give you a speed boost as well. But yeah, they do like respectful damage, self heal, and all that other shit. They uh, can taunt. Uh, sometimes the taunt is like immune, because I'll, I'll see like that immune text over like uh, some bosses. But uh, yeah. And then the two like things for your finger is like you want defense specialization that's free 25 de uh, defense rating so I've got like 45 extra and plus for every point you're over uh, 300 defense you get like spell power or attack power whichever is higher I believe something like that you get like a buff it almost kind of looks like a uh, bull headed from cunning hunter pets and then a uh, nature uh, specialization for a 6% chance for, like, nature spells, so Allah, our lightning bolt, earth shock, and chain lightning, right? For those to hit more. I'm assuming the elemental tanks would probably have, like, nature uh, spec and fire spec, fire spec, because, like, we're uh, most likely playing burn for most of the time. I'd imagine you would swap back to uh, what you call it? At least as enhanced, right? If you've got Storm Strike, uh, to mental decks like on bosses, but uh, in between like trash and everything, like burn is just so good. Sometimes I even forget to switch uh, helmet runes and like burn like on single target is still pretty good. And yeah, have I yapped long enough here? In terms of like my little overview here, I could tell you where I, uh, I got the runes if you'd like a spoiler, like a. Uh, the new ones, at least. If, if you don't want to get spoiled, I mean, I guess, like, uh, you can stop watching now, but, uh... One of these caves here, at the end, there's, like, an elemental that you talk to. He's, like, level 60, and... You, uh, free him, then... You have to kill him, basically, to get the rune, loot the rune off him for the ghost wolves. 
I got this kind of early, like at 54, 55, something like that, uh, with like a nine-man group of shamans. We all went into that cave, got it. Uh, and now just earlier today, I uh, got these ring runes. So in BRD, I can't really like go in there, but um, the true entrance to get to uh, Blackrock Spire, like not the chains, like uh, where you see the meeting stone, you go a little bit in there and take like a right from that hallway into like this other room. There's like a red book on the ground basically, but you got to kill level 53 elites or clear them up at least. You, you need a group, but, but uh, I was there solo and then like these other people just came in and like helped me get it. I mean, they also wanted it too, so I think they were waiting there for someone to like start uh, pulling. So that's the defense ring. It's like in Black Rock Mountain. And then the nature specialization ring ring, it's in Felwood. It's at uh, a little bit northeast of this like little lake here. It's like in one of the little encampments, there's the red book there. It's, yeah, same uh, looking book as the defense book. I think all these books that are out in the world are like all red colored. Uh, yeah, that's where I got the new runes that I've got here that I, I think these are, are like the three ones that I'll be using for uh, phase four in terms of new runes. Like I don't think. I'll need to get dagger specialization, but I'll go pick it up just in case. But uh, I feel like, uh, <laughs> like my melee from dagger isn't gonna be like a lot of my main threat. Like it's obviously coming from like all the shocks and like using my maelstrom on lightning bolts. That's my little uh, video regarding shaman tank for phase four. Uh, there may be an update, uh, or I'll, I may do an updated version of this guide, like uh, if there's any changes. But yeah, there's two different builds right the ellie uh, spell hands build and then like the traditional build like that shaman tanks have been using for years before saw it even came out so uh if you liked it leave a like if you didn't like it uh tell me why in the comments let's get the, this up in the algorithm peace